Welcome to Inside Polk, I'm Steve Barnes. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Now, here's what's happening in Polk County. Sometimes it's good to be considered above normal, but not when it comes to hurricane activity. Unfortunately, the National Weather Service is predicting an above normal hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin, which will impact Polk County. Our hurricane season runs from June 1st through November 30th, and forecasters are predicting an 85% chance of an above normal season. The National Weather Service expects 17 to 25 total named storms with four to seven major hurricanes. The predictions are based on several factors, including near record warm ocean temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean and development of La Nina conditions in the Pacific. So what does this mean for you? It means that preparing for the storm season is more important than ever. Visit the website listed on the screen to start preparing now. Paul Semft, who served as a Polk County Commissioner from 2003 through 2006, passed away on May 21st. A longtime Haines City resident, he was 84 years old. Semft was appointed to Polk County's Board of County Commissioners by Governor Jeb Bush following the death of Commissioner Charles Richardson. A Republican, Semph helped pass a tourism development tax and indigent health care tax. He is survived by his wife of 60 years, as well as two daughters and five grandchildren. The rapidly growing Poinciana area is one step closer to getting a new high school. Polk County's commissioners recently approved the release of more than $115 million in educational impact fees. The funds will help Polk County Public Schools build a new high school to serve 2,500 students in the county's northeast area. An exact location for the new school has not been identified yet. New home buyers pay impact fees to help cover infrastructure costs. Before you go, please subscribe and give this video a like and join us next week for more Inside Polk. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to polk-county.net.